Well, uh, this is a review of a uh, cable modem. In this particular case, it's uh, Comcast Xfinity, but it will be can be used for the for a lot of other internet providers. So this one, top uh, top seller on uh, Amazon out there. This is, I believe the one of the after all an even cheapest model. They have a couple of them and uh, different, but this particular is as as B six one four one. So on the back side. Uh, on the back side we have uh, this is we are it's up to 340 uh, 3 megabits so in my case it's definitely more than enough I have a lower internet here with through Xfinity so and they do have other options uh, to choose from so yeah uh, what we have inside the modem itself it's a white yeah I don't know good or bad so uh, you have uh, your coax cable here and uh, Ethernet cable to hook up, let's say, to your uh, wireless and you should be good to go. There are some indications, not super fancy, but should work. So, power uh, for modem and additional uh, Ethernet cable if you need it. I'm pretty sure you most probably will have use this one or that that you have from your wireless uh, uh, router. Okay, so the end of the idea here to replace uh, Xfinity original uh, modem slash Wi-Fi, so to have my own setup and basically avoid the monthly fees that Xfinity uh, uh, ch charge us. So in the long run, as this piece of hardware should uh, should paid off in a couple months. Compared to original one uh, that uh, Xfinity sent. Yeah, okay, thank you. Just did unboxing and successfully connected the modem. So, quick impressions it's super light, I would say. So, it's a good stuff that you can keep it vertically like this. And also, there is uh, additional hooks that you can even put on the wall. Uh, like this or that way one or another you have the options uh, like in my case it will be buried somewhere in this cabinet uh, so I believe that cable management needs to be done make sure that no all this nasty stuff will be there so from the box uh, yeah it was really nice I didn't luckily I didn't uh, have chance to read through the only indication we have power so in my case it's white not green uh, uh, this blue downstream upstream uh, it's uh, for uh, blue it's specifically uh, for dock uh, SIS 3.0 the latest standard available at least in this area uh, 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 green uh, means indicate uh, the internet connection itself and this periodically blinking is indicates that something connected uh, to Ethernet cable. So in this case, if it's amber, it means uh, older uh, 10 megabits, and this is uh, a one gigabit connection. So in my case, it's go to uh, links is uh, a wireless uh, a router. So uh, so nothing else in the uh, so uh, in from the box. So instructions goes back. Uh, once again, I just reused my existing cables uh, successfully connected. It, it it does require to call, at least in my case, to Comcast tech, uh, technical support. So I provided the MAC uh, address for this one. They deactivated my previous uh, uh, modem and add this one. So it's only my hope to work on this. So yeah, I, I still need to return uh, that piece of equipment. And yeah, just did a quick test even over Wi-Fi. It seems to be I'm getting the kind of uh, good numbers. So, yeah, but it's Wi-Fi, it's another story. So once again, blue, blue uh, should be solid and this one periodically blinking. That means connection is on. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. So it was a review of, uh, of uh, Aries uh, SB6141 uh, uh, modem. The same model, uh, I believe, exists in from Motorola uh, as, as well. So yeah, thank you for watching. If any question, let me know. Thank you, bye.